We're joined now by Los Angeles Lakers forward, hometown hero, Jared Vanderbilt, back in town. You've got some great community service events coming up. Uh, first, I want to talk about your basketball camp. This is four years you're doing this now. What is so special to you about being able to give back to these kids? Uh, what's special to me is me having the opportunity to give back. You know, uh, me being in this position, uh, me being from, you know, Houston, being a hometown kid, being able to give back to my community and, uh, you know, the same community that I grew up in. And just to give back to the kids and uh, just to see the impact that it has on their lives and uh, really just showing them, you know, what it's supposed to be like, you know, once you make it to a certain position, you know, to always give back and just never forget where you came from. So this is huge for me. Every year you make this camp a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. Now that it's year four, what stands out to you about some of the stuff that you've added for this year? Um, how much has grown? You know, each year it's got bigger and better. You know, we've got more people. We've elevated gyms. Uh, we've got more, you know, guests coming in. Uh, you know, more sponsors helping uh, provide for the kids and for the camp. And uh, I'm just amazed at how, uh, how fast it's, you know, elevated and grown over the years. Like I said, this is our fourth one. I enjoy doing it, so it's a passion for me. Um, but it's also just, you know, it's just always been super important for me to just to give back. So, like I said, having this opportunity, you know, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling. It's not the only thing that you're doing. In August on the 19th, you got your backpack giveaway, third one of that. Why is that something that, that you want to do right before the school year? I mean, growing up in a city kid, um, you know, I just know what it's like, you know, to, um, you know, go to school, you know, and be short on supplies. And uh, I feel like it's super important for me, for every student that's going to school and going to class, you know, to not have to worry about having supplies and, you know, uh, stuff that, you know, other people take for granted. So it's super important just to, you know, give back. Uh, not only are we giving away school supplies, we're giving away groceries as well. We have haircuts for the kids. We also be outside, we have bounce houses, uh, cone ice, food trucks. Um, pretty much just the whole nine. So not only is it a backpack giveaway, but it'll just be kind of a whole event for the community. Just a, a proper send off, you know, before school starts. Yeah, and get to meet you, get to meet some of the other players. Sure. Um, you just got back from Japan. Mm -hmm. What was that like and why, why was that a place that you wanted to visit? Uh, Japan was amazing. You know, for me, it was always just on the bucket list. Um, I kind of been putting it, putting it off for the past couple of summers just because I had a lot on the plate, but this summer I decided to, you know, knock it off the list. And uh, it definitely was an experience, you know, being able to travel the world and see, you know, different cultures and, uh, you know, how they operate and, you know, how they eat, how they talk and everything. And uh, it was dope. So uh, it definitely was a you know, great trip for me. You fit in pretty well at Fashion Week this year, especially mm -hmm. coming off a first team all league yeah. fit selection. Were you happy that you were able to move up from third to first team? Oh, uh, for sure. Like, just, <laughs> you know, to get some recognition, you know, obviously, you know, I have a, you know, love for fashion and I, you know, just do it just because I love for it. But just to get some recognition is always fun. It's always dope. And um, like I said, uh, you know, I always had a love for fashion. So it, it's dope. Who do you think is the best dressed player in the NBA? Uh, best dress, I would say besides myself, <laughs> I like, uh, you know, two of my close friends. I like Shay. I think he's, uh, he's carved out a lane for his own. Uh, and also JC, Jordan Clarkson, I think he's, you know, he's also a vet when it comes to, you know, dressing. So uh, those are two guys that, you know, I pretty much like their style. Speaking of recognition, it's a little bit different playing for the Los Angeles Lakers than it, it is versus some of the other teams you, you played for. What is the most surprising thing about getting to L.A., mm -hmm. playing for that historic franchise, and just the immediate attention that was sort of heaped upon you? Um, I would just say, like, the recognition, the fan base is crazy. Like even going to, you know, Japan and Tokyo, um, just the recognition just from being Lakers because the Lakers are just so global. They're international. Everybody is pretty much a Lakers fan, especially, you know, over there internationally. So uh, just being able, just the recognition was just a lot different for me, you know, coming from a quote unquote smaller market, going to one of the largest markets in sports. So uh, I definitely don't take it for granted. You know, it's a blessing to be able to play on the highest stage at the highest level. And uh, like I said, it's been, you know, it's been a great experience so far. I heard that your Instagram do uh, followers doubled like weeks after getting yeah. going to the Lakers. What was that like just picking up your phone and just blowing up? Yeah, for sure. It definitely <laughs> doubled. Uh, 
uh, rather quickly just from, you know, like I said, they have a strong fan base, uh, you know, all over the world. So uh, as soon as I made that transition and played a couple games, you know, uh, you know, my following kind of shot up, you know, pretty quick. So like I said, it's a great fan base. I love being a part of, you know, the Lake Show and a part of the Lakers organization, you know, it's been, a, it's been great, great experience so far. You play with, of course, LeBron James. I remember the first time I ever saw him play, it was like 2014 Heat, I was covering the Grizzlies, mm. and I just watched him, not the game, just wanted to focus on him. And the thing that I noticed was it feels like he's like two moves ahead of everyone at all times. Mm. You play with him, you're around him a lot. What do you notice on the court about what is different that makes LeBron LeBron? Really just his IQ, the way he thinks the game. You know, like I say, like you say, he's always two plays ahead. You know, he has a super high IQ. Uh, he knows the game. He thinks the game. He studies the game. And uh, I think that just comes from his preparation. You know, what he does leading up to the game, you know, how he works and, uh, and how he prepares for the game. Uh, I think that would, you know, separate him from, uh, you know, uh, the rest of the pack. What is the biggest lesson you've learned from him? Um... The biggest lesson I would just say, um, you know, just hard work and just pretty much how to carry yourself. I think he's done a great job being a, you know, a public figure since he's, you know, was 18 years old, uh, handling, you know, not only the fame, but, you know, everything else that comes with, you know, being a public figure. I think he's done a great job of that. And uh, uh, you can kind of, he's the, almost the perfect model, to, you know, to, to model after if, if you want to be, you know, a uh, respective athlete and a public figure. So, like I said, that's one of the biggest things I took away from him. You get to spend a lot of time with him on court, off court. I don't want to hear what, how great he is on the court. We've talked about that. What is the weirdest thing about him or that he does that you've ever noticed? The weirdest thing? Uh, I wouldn't say it's just weird. I just think he's, you know, he's really just a kid at heart, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, he's just a big kid, like in a good way. Like he's... You know, always joking, laughing, uh, you know, he's just having fun, just, you know, just being a kid. I think uh, obviously, you know, having to uh, have that on your shoulders at a young age, it kind of maybe took away from him, you know, just being a kid. So I think just being around him, he's always, you know, happy, having fun and, you know, joking around. So I think that's, you know, that's maybe a side that people don't know as much. Okay. Uh, you guys, deep playoff run obviously hoping for, for that again. What do you think helps you guys set up for another successful year, another deep playoff run this year? I think just having a training camp. I know uh, we kind of pieced it together. We came in mid-season, so it was kind of late to get full chemistry, but we, you know, we strung it together towards the end. But I think having a full training camp, a full season ahead of us, um, us being able to you know, have more practices and get more chemistry and gel together, um, I think that will help us in the long run. But uh, like I said, uh, even then, we still had a great finish to the season last year. So just looking forward to it, excited to have a full season ahead. Last one I got for you. You get to guard some of the tougher players in the league. Your assignment many games is guard the best player, guard the best big. Who is the toughest player to guard in the league? Um, toughest player to guard, I mean, it's a talented league right now. It's 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 a lot of guys that that are you know that are just super talented on the offensive end. But you know, obviously, guys like you know Kyrie, KD, um, Jokic. I mean, just Giannis. It's, it's a lot of guys that are pretty <laughs> you know unique in their in their talent and uh, offensive talent, so uh, those are some of the top guys, probably. So it's more of a group of guys that you kind of have to extra prepare, extra antennas up versus then one specific guy? Oh, uh, for sure. For me, I'm kind of, you know, I guard pretty much one through five, so one night it might be a point guard, next night it might be a power forward, so just kind of finding the balance and adjusting on how, who I'm guarding and, you know, uh, what position I'm guarding that night, so. Uh, it's, it's always a challenge for me, but I'm, you know, I'm always up for that challenge. Message to Lakers fans. Um, Lakers fans, I'm looking forward to have a great year. I'm excited to get a full year under our belt, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Go Lakers. Jared Vanderbilt, Lakers forward, great on the court, even better off it. Jared, thank you so much for joining us, yes, and Thanks great to see you in the city. Yes, sir. Thank you.